Thank you for letting me speak today. And now I'd like to introduce Rachira Bandula. Uh, Rachira was born in Boston, Massachusetts. And in her free time, she likes to draw, paint, and watch TV whenever she can. She uh, attends Heights Elementary School and has been living in Sharon for four and a half years now. She has a mom, a dad, and a little sister. Now I'd like to welcome Rachira, my good friend Rachira. Hi everyone, my name is Rachira. Can you guys hear me clearly? Yes. yes. Good. I would like to thank Ferial for her wonderful speech about Malala but, and for introducing me. But today, I will be talking about global warming. I will be talking about what are the effects of global warming, how we can pro how, what are the, what is global warming, what are the effects of global warming, and how we can reduce it. Global warming can cause many dangers if it isn't handled properly. All the snow-capped mountains, coastal regions, forests and farms, they all hang in the balance. But first, what is global warming? Global warming is the process of people releasing heat-trapped gases. As this has gone on for the past century, the Earth is becoming more heated and heated by the year. It is causing a set of changes in the Earth's climate or long-term weather patterns that vary from place to place, picking up moisture all over the oceans, rising and settling. As the Earth swirls on and on, new heat swirl swirls with it. So although, although this seems like all our fault, it's not. Most of it is the Earth's natural way. It's just how life's gonna go on and we can't do anything to get rid of it completely, but we can reduce it enough so that it doesn't cause any permanent dam damage to our society. So the main sign behind global warming naturally is the greenhouse effect. Does anybody know what's a greenhouse besides adults and besides Sophie from previous experiences? <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll tell you myself. So a greenhouse is basically a small little house that's um, made out of glass and the inside is spacious and roomy like a queen's chamber. So you put stuff in there, anything, well not anything, and then when the sun shines in it, the, the glass around it, it traps all the warmth and makes the air in the greenhouse all warm. So that's basically what the Earth's doing. It's acting like a gigantic greenhouse and it, the atmosphere of the Earth is trapping all the, sun sh all the sun's rays that shine on the Earth. So it's making our planet more heated and heated as, as life goes on. So now on to what are the effects? Well, one main effect in global warming is way up north, way up north in the Arctic Circle, all the ice caps are melting. They're dripping to their very last drop of water. And not Poland spring water though. Oh. So when they're, when they're dripping, so water, what, what happens when you add water and water together? More you water. Get, yes, you get more water. So then the ocean level is rising. So when the ocean level rises, then all the coastal cities, well, some coastal regions, they get flooded. And that's not good because, you know, when a flood comes, it's really sad because, you know, all the homes get flooded and you lose everything. So that's not good. And another thing is, another thing that is that w up when the ice caps are melting again, the other life there, the other life that live there, like polar bears, they depend on icebergs to live, eat, sleep, play, everything. So then as a result, the, they are already extinct. I mean, they're already endangered. So then it's just going to make them extinct because they don't have any icebergs to live, sleep, eat, play. And also another effect is farming crops will get harder too with the heat because farmers can't spend all every day, all the hours of, of the day in the blazing hot sun farming crops. They'll get sunstroke or something, right? So 
farming crops will get harder too. And so will longer droughts affect us and our water supply because when a long t period of time goes without rain, we <coughs> will we'll have limited water supply. Now, I am, there are little ways on how we can reduce global warming from, well, reaching to petrified Pluto and Mercy Mercury, but I'm pretty sure Mercury's already a goner. Oh. <laughs> so, one way you could help the Earth go green is buy reusable products instead of disposable products. That way, when you go to throw out your item, you can recycle it instead of dispose it, so it won't add up to the waste that's already took up, taken up most of our land, right? And another thing you could do is use less hot water. I know in the winter it's really popular because it's so freezing outside, but I'm not saying you shouldn't use it completely. You should just use it less. So the New Year's coming up and I've got a great resolution for some hot water lovers. Instead of, if you use 30 or 40 minutes of hot water, you could use 10 minutes of hot water. That's a great resolution if you ask me. And, yes? How much time do you spend in the hot shower? Hmm. 10, oh, as the young gentleman said, how much time do I spend in the hot water? <laughs> well, I spend like 10 to 15 minutes, but I'm gonna try to reduce that too. Good job. And, additionally, you, you, um, so you won't have to pay a humongous bill for using up most of the town's hot water. Then you won't have to get water insurance or a water lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you just waste the hot water, then you're just wasting gas. Because in order to make gas, in order to make hot water, you have to make you have to use gas. And gas is a precious resource that we found it. So you don't want to waste that because we use it for lots of things. And I mean a lot. So, even if you're washing your dog or your car, just don't leave the faucet running, turn it off. Offing the lights can play a big role in global warming too, because I can't tell you how many countless times I've had the same experience where I leave the light on, then hours later after school, I come back and I see the light on. I feel guilty. Well, I'm not sure if you guys do, but I do. So. I encourage all of you to off the lights when they're not needed so you can help you can help you can save electricity and help your plant. Also, you won't have to pay another gigantic electric bill. People can make a big impact on global warming if they just tried. It's as simple as using less hot water to offing the lights. To summarize my topic, I talked about what is global warming, what are the effects of global warming, and how we can reduce it. In the end, I would like to share why I chose to speak about this topic. I chose to because I want to inform everyone who is listening to me that even with little changes, slowly, if we all t come together as a team, we can minimize global warming so that it isn't on our danger radar anymore. I hope I've encouraged all of you to do the same, and thank you for listening to me. Good job.